In the ancient lands of Mesopotamia, the Assyrians emerged as a powerful and highly advanced civilization, forging an empire that would leave a lasting impact on the history of the region. Their prowess in warfare, innovative architectural feats and intricate artistic expressions were just a few of the hallmarks of this Iron Age society. Intriguingly, the Assyrians shared a deep connection with the Anunnaki, a group of deities revered throughout ancient Mesopotamian cultures. This divine relationship not only shaped their religious beliefs and practices, but also influenced their political structure, art and literature leaving a fascinating and complex legacy for future generations to uncover. Hello and welcome to life's biggest questions. Let's continue this journey, shall we? The Assyrian Empire had its roots in the city-state of Asher, located on the banks of the Tigris River in modern-day northern Iraq. The city was named after the chief deity of the Assyrian pantheon, Asher, who was believed to grant the Assyrian kings their divine mandate to rule. By the late 3rd millennium BCE, Asher had grown into a significant trading hub, benefiting from its strategic location along the Tigris River and its role in the lucrative trade network that connected Mesopotamia with Anatolia and the Mediterranean world. During the 2nd millennium BCE, Asher and its surrounding region came under the control of various Mesopotamian powers, such as the 3rd dynasty of Ur and the old Babylonian Empire. However, by the 14th century BCE, the Assyrians had managed to reassert their independence and expand their influence under the rule of King Asher Ubalit, thus Asher Ubalit. Uh, Fast is credited with founding the Middle Assyrian Empire and embarking on an aggressive campaign of conquest, which saw the annexation of neighboring territories and the establishment of a pattern of military expansion that would define the Assyrian Empire for centuries to come. The Assyrian Empire continued to grow and consolidate its power under a series of strong and ambitious rulers, including Adad-Nirari I, Tukulti Ninurta I, and Tiglath Pilsa I. These kings implemented administrative reforms to centralize power and enhance their control over the expanding empire. They also invested heavily in infrastructure projects such as irrigation systems and road networks, which facilitated the movement of goods and people and enabled the efficient administration of the empire's vast territories. The zenith of Assyrian power came during the Neo-Assyrian period, which began in the late 10th century BCE with the reign of Adad-Nirari II. This period saw a rapid expansion of the empire under rulers like Ashurnasirpal II, Shalmaneser III, Tiglath Pilsa III, Sargon II, Sennacherib, Esarhaddon, and Ashurbanipal. At its peak, the Assyrian Empire stretched from the Persian Gulf in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west, and from the borders of modern day Iran in the north to Egypt in the south. Throughout their history, the Assyrians maintained an aggressive policy of expansion and conquest, often employing brutal tactics to subdue their enemies and maintain control over their vast territories. This policy allowed them to amass significant wealth and resources, which in turn fueled their continued growth and dominance in the ancient Near East. The Assyrian military was a key factor in the empire's rise to prominence and the backbone of its success. Its strength lay in its discipline, organization, advanced weaponry and innovative strategies. The following elements contributed to the Assyrians' fearsome reputation on the battlefield. The Assyrians were among the first to use iron extensively in their weapons, giving them a significant advantage over their enemies. Iron was stronger and more durable than bronze, allowing the Assyrians to produce superior swords, spears and arrowheads. This technological edge enabled them to overcome adversaries who were still reliant on bronze weaponry. The Assyrian army was highly organized, with a clear chain of command and specialized units, including infantry, cavalry, archers and charioteers. This organization allowed for efficient communication and coordination on the battlefield, ensuring that the Assyrians could effectively execute complex tactics and maneuvers. The Assyrians were masters of siege warfare, employing innovative techniques and technologies to breach fortified cities. They utilized siege towers, battering rams and sappers to undermine city walls. The Assyrians also employed psychological warfare, such as displaying the severed heads of captured enemy leaders to demoralize their opponents and hasten their surrender. Unlike many of their contemporaries, the Assyrians maintained a large professional standing army that was always ready for battle. This enabled them to respond rapidly to threats and to project their power across the vast expanse of their empire. 
The Assyrian military made extensive use of cavalry and chariots, which allowed them to exploit the mobility and speed of these units to their advantage on the battlefield. Assyrian cavalry and charioteers were renowned for their skill and ferocity, striking fear into the hearts of their enemies. The Assyrians developed efficient logistical systems to keep their armies supplied on campaign. They built roads and bridges to facilitate the movement of troops and supplies, and they established supply depots and granaries in strategic locations to ensure that their forces were always well provisioned. Assyrian soldiers were rigorously trained from a young age, instilling in them a strong sense of discipline and loyalty to the empire. This training, combined with their advanced weaponry and tactics, made the Assyrian army a formidable force on the battlefield. The Assyrian military was not only the foundation of the empire's success, but also an instrument of terror, used to suppress revolts and intimidate potential adversaries. The Assyrians' military prowess and innovations played a critical role in their rise to power and their ability to maintain control over their vast territories. The Assyrian Empire, once a dominant power in the ancient Near East, eventually succumbed to a combination of internal and external factors that led to its decline and fall. The following factors contributed to the disintegration of this once mighty empire. Overextension and revolts, as the Assyrian Empire expanded, it became increasingly difficult to maintain control over its vast territories. Rebellions and uprisings were common, particularly in the more distant provinces. The Assyrians relied heavily on their fearsome military to suppress these revolts, but this strategy stretched their resources thin and left the empire vulnerable to external threats. The cost of maintaining a large standing army, as well as the construction of grand palaces, temples and other monumental structures, placed a significant financial burden on the empire. This burden was further exacerbated by the need to fund expensive military campaigns to suppress revolts and defend the empire's borders. This financial strain weakened the Assyrian economy and made it more susceptible to external shocks, internal strife and political instability. Succession disputes and infighting among the Assyrian elite led to periods of political instability and weakened the central authority of the empire. This instability made it more difficult for the Assyrians to respond effectively to external threats and to maintain control over their territories. Environmental factors. Some scholars argue that environmental factors, such as droughts and famines, contributed to the decline of the Assyrian empire. These natural disasters would have strained the empire's already weakened economy and disrupted its agricultural base, further exacerbating the challenges faced by the Assyrians. The Assyrian Empire faced increasing pressure from external powers, such as the Medes, Babylonians and Scythians. As the Assyrians struggled to maintain control over their territories and suppress internal revolts, these external powers sensed an opportunity to challenge Assyrian dominance. In 612 BCE, the Babylonians and Medes formed a coalition and laid siege to the Assyrian capital of Nineveh, ultimately capturing the city and dealing a devastating blow to the Assyrian Empire. The final collapse. After the fall of Nineveh, the Assyrians attempted to regroup and establish a new capital at Haran. However, the empire was too weakened to withstand the continued onslaught from its enemies. In 609 BCE, the Babylonians and Medes captured Haran, marking the end of the Assyrian Empire as a political and military power. The decline and fall of the Assyrian Empire were the result of a complex interplay of internal and external factors. The Empire's overextension, economic strain, political instability and environmental challenges weakened its foundations, while the rise of powerful external adversaries ultimately led to its collapse. The fall of the Assyrian Empire marked the end of an era and paved the way for the rise of new powers in the ancient Near East, such as the Babylonians and the Persians. The Anunnaki, a group of deities in ancient Mesopotamian religions, played a significant role in shaping the beliefs and culture of the Assyrians, who were one of the dominant civilizations of the ancient Near East. The connection between the Assyrians and the Anunnaki can be seen in various aspects of their society, including their religion, art and literature. The Assyrian religion, like that of other Mesopotamian cultures, was deeply influenced by the worship of the Anunnaki. These gods and goddesses were believed to have created humanity and were responsible for the natural world, as well as for human society and its institutions. Key Anunnaki deities such as Enlil, 
Ea and Anu were central to the Assyrians, and their worship was an essential part of religious life. Assyrian kings claimed to rule by the divine mandate of the Anunnaki, who were believed to have appointed them as their earthly representatives. This divine connection was used to legitimize the rule of the Assyrian kings and to justify their military conquests. Assyrian kings were often depicted in art and literature as receiving the blessing or guidance of the Anunnaki, further reinforcing the idea that their rule was divinely ordained. The influence of the Anunnaki can be seen in the art and iconography of the Assyrian Empire. Depictions of Anunnaki deities are found on Assyrian palace reliefs, sculptures and other artifacts, often alongside images of the Assyrian king. The winged disc, a symbol associated with the sun god Shamash, another member of the Anunnaki, was a common motif in Assyrian art and was often used as a symbol of divine protection and authority. The Anunnaki featured prominently in Assyrian literature and mythology, which was heavily influenced by earlier Sumerian and Akkadian sources. Stories of the Anunnaki, such as the Enuma Elish, the Babylonian creation myth, and the Epic of Gilgamesh, were known and revered by the Assyrians, who often incorporated these tales into their own literary works and inscriptions. As we delve into the intriguing world of the Assyrians, we find a civilization marked by exceptional achievements and indelible ties to the ancient Anunnaki deities. Their divine mandate provided a foundation for the Assyrian Empire's rise to prominence, fueling their military conquests and shaping their cultural expressions. Yet despite their numerous accomplishments, the Assyrians ultimately succumbed to a combination of internal and external pressures that led to their empire's decline and fall. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Stay tuned for more exciting developments and let us know future suggestions in the comments down below.